Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video, guys. Today we have some drink, drink control. Drink control. This is, uh, I have it in the game labs. A G fuel shaker, but this stuff is pretty good. I like it. This is, uh, they have like, I think it's supposed to be like a Cocoa Puff flavor or something like that. Like a Cocoa flavor. I wanted the cookies and cream, but unfortunately my local vitamin shop does not have them. But it's really cool because, so I, I only got it because it was at my local vitamin shop. Like I don't have to wait for it to be delivered. That's like a big problem of mine. I'm so impatient that even something... I've wanted to try this for so long. It's like a meal replacement shake made by gamers. So like when you're playing games and you don't got time to eat food or for instance like me, I'm streaming, don't got time, can't go make a sandwich midstream and eat it. You know, just make one of those, drink it up. I don't know, I think it's pretty good. And I like that one. This is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just about halfway done with it. I've just been drinking on it slowly. And then the only thing I found out is when you drink this, a meal replacement shake at the same time as a carbonated beverage, you get a weird taste in your mouth, so don't do not do that. Don't drink them at the same time. Alrighty, we got ourselves a raid match, and it's in the beginning of it. Love that. I'm just wrecking this uh, LC-10 again, just because, I don't know. I mean, this gun's pretty good. I want to just level it up for, I mean, I just want to level it up. I want to get a gold eventually, and then I still, I still need to get the MAC-10 gold. Still not gold, and I've actually been playing Warzone, like, a lot more lately, and by a lot more, I mean I've played, like, three days this week. For like an hour or two each session with my uncle and it's fun and i've just been running the mp5 which is still a good gun but i mean when i when someone runs at me with the mac 10 i mean they, they hurt my feelings with it pretty bad so i need to level up the mac 10 still maybe one of these days i will who knows we'll see what happens we'll see i just gonna die to it like a, just a few more times in league our war zone and i'll probably level it up but right oh i didn't even see that guy what are you doing still sitting here what is this guy what is this fella doing Oh no, you have a trophy in there? Not cool. I'm gonna go around here. I want spawns. I want spawns back here. Oh, that guy just spawned back here. Give me, give me your spawn. You, give me your spawn. Holy cow, I suck. Oh wait, three, two. No, he lived. That wasn't very nice. You didn't even, I didn't even see a flag jack. I'm gonna do it again. You know he's still pushing me. Ready? Oh, hello, why can't I move? He's still here. Hello, where are you? Oh, there you go. He died to someone else. You, they're still spawning here? That stick. That didn't stick him? I'm actually kind of surprised. Ooh, I suck. I don't know. What, what am I doing? I'm trying my best. That's okay. Well, let's go to the next hill. There's a new new stuff I've been hearing uh, hearing about with the GAs. I was watching um, yesterday for you guys. Today for me. As, as you guys know, I've been recording these videos like a uh, day early now instead of a day of. Because I'm still laid off from my work. Temporarily laid off. So I've just been recording these videos like in the middle of the night. Uh, while Mrs. Rudy's asleep, so I don't interfere with our time together, you know, because we just hang out now that I'm an unemployed man. But what I'm trying to say is, so I was watching Scump Stream, Scumper Jumper, Optic Scumpy, if you uh, don't know for whatever reason, but he was playing League Play and he was not using the Liberator Barrel. He said that that is uh, the next attachment added, added to the GA list, which, you know, at this point, who knows what's even happening anymore? Who even knows? Who even knows what's going on? Where is this fella? Is he not dead? There's a guy, Jim. I'm just gonna... Sp oh, I, my RPG wasn't even loaded up anyway. Never mind. Oh, I'm right here. Look at that. Don't mind me. I'll play up here for spawns for the squad just to make sure we win this game here. But... Yeah, so he was... Scump was... Uh, he was using the extended barrel, which is... It's plus 40% bullet velocity instead of plus 100% bullet velocity, which kind of makes sense, you know? Because, like, they... They're trying to, like level out the soda for you so I, I think that makes sense the only thing that's kind of weird about that if if that does end up going through i wonder like if they just do the 40 percent bullet velocity on the 74u can we also just do the 40 percent bullet velocity in the m4 and then keep a three gun meta you know i mean i as a 74u player i truly don't you know i know we we're talking about it yesterday ah <laughs> nice little three piece I know we were talking about it yesterday, but I truly don't see, like, a huge problem with the M4. Is it obviously a really good, like, all-around gun, and you don't necessarily want, like, an AR gun to be able to do it all? True, but I don't know. I think it's fine. I think it's, you know, it's fine. Mo like, 90% of the time, the 74U beats it up close, which is what it's supposed to do. And it's just supposed to be your mid-gun. mid, mid, mid gun. If you want to play a gun super far in the back, just play the Krig 6, you know? Long story short though, short though, I think, I don't know how I didn't see that guy the first time. Long story short though, I think it would be cool if we got to see the XM4 like in play and then both the XM4 and the 74U, both of them just use the like plus 40% or like don't use the bullet velocity barrels at all. I mean, maybe that'll make him easier if you think about it. 
if they don't have the bullet velocity, then the, the M4 and the 74U are slightly worse, which would make them a little bit more even with the Krig 6, because right now the Krig 6 is only good super far away. Like, up close, it is, like, terrible. Like, not even close to a usable gun, like, up close, compared to either one of those two guns. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, obviously the AR, like, you know, a Krig 6, a gun like that, you're not supposed to be able to beat anyone up close. But, like, I would say, like, two out of every ten times, like, you should be able to at least come close or beat, like, you know, a player, like, close to you. You know, like, especially, like, in Search and Destroy, if you're playing a 1v whatever situation. I think it should be, like, plausible. Right now with the Krig, it is absolutely not possible to win that gunfight, like, at all. I'm just having a... A grand old time here with this RPG and I somehow am still alive up here I'm gonna stem I forgot I have stem shots hello you sir gone you you're alive still don't know how who else wants the sauce who else wants it who else you you died to someone else you you want it okay you died to someone else too 10 seconds let's wait is that oh that's a that's a dead body i'm out of here this sentry gun's gonna take care of all my dirty work we'll see what happens at the end of the day i do truly believe still that we are gonna get those preset classes because you know like if we just have preset classes that literally solves the issue for everyone like and i was listening to uh so it's called the best of three podcast and they had like a really good point like if call of duty like so during the two week like in between seasons like what we're in right now what if call of duty actually and now this would require call of duty to like really care about their competitive players but what if call of duty during this two-week time actually came to all the pros had a meeting and said all right like what are we changing if anything at all and then the pro wait hello oh here you are oh crap but in that two-week span the pros could be like okay like this is ga this is ga this is not ga anymore this this that like you know whatever's changed if anything and then the like call of duty community or like or not call of duty community the actual call of duty would then instantly like within a week like go to the preset classes in the game for the pros for the custom lobby like amateur lobbies and for league play make it so we all use the same presets that would like be so good for the competitive scene because right now it is like crazy like the pros are playing a different game than the top amateur players. The top amateurs are playing a different game from the game battles players. And the game battles players are playing a totally different game from the league play players. And the league play players are playing a totally different game from just your standard pubs. I mean, it is just, it's a wild ride out there. I mean, we already have like set standard, like score streaks, you know, like everyone's only using the ar artillery strike and the cruise missile. And it's good. Like if that's what the pros are using, that's what we should be using, especially like, I mean, even just in league play, you know, like, so we seem to have the, pre the preset classes at the end of the day, all the pros are using the same classes as each other. Like the pros aren't using, there's not like that one pro that uses a different gun than everyone else. Everyone's using the same class at the end of the day. I tried to throw that over the wall. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, at the end of the day, everyone's using the same as that class. So the presets just make sense. My napalm strike is going in for me. Got me a two-piece McNugget. But these guys are still spawning here. I don't like that at all. Left and right side. Hold on. What are you doing? Don't need me. Anyone else here? Oh, I got the spawns. Oh, my gosh. And I went 41 and 17. Having a good heyday out here on raid, baby. I just unlocked a cube. What's it called? The Rubik's Cube? It's not like the Rubik's Cube. Like, what? <laughs> what? What is happening? That is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for hanging out. Let me know what you guys think. It would be pretty awesome if we got the preset classes for League Play and for the pros. Like I said, like, all around, everyone who wants to play competitive pod should be on the same, like, literal same exact playing field. I think that would be really cool. Makes a lot of sense, but, you know, at the end of the day, we're not Warzone, so... You know, I don't know. I don't know if they care, but it is what it is. Right now, like I said, I just wanted to... I don't know. I don't know why, uh talked about drink control but i just got it so i'm excited about it i wanted to tell you guys about it let me know if you guys have ever tried it and if so well flavor i really want to try the cookies and cream flavor but for now this uh cocoa this is literally my first one the cocoa plus one i think it's really good i like it a lot so but thank you guys for watching today's video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out and i'll see you guys all later goodbye